Ohio has a vibrant natural history. For over four billion years, the Ohio landscape has been shaped by powerful geologic forces. Some occur quickly, such as earthquakes and volcanoes. Some span many thousands or even millions of years, such as advancing and retreating glaciers and oceans. And some, such as meteorite impacts, strike suddenly from beyond Earth's atmosphere. All have left a mark on the Ohio terrain, offering important clues to how our state was formed and creating beautiful scenic features. From striking rock formations to beautiful rolling plains to dynamic lakes and rivers, our state is adorned with the remnants of a multifaceted geologic evolution, and the land we see is the result of eons of complex geologic processes. While some of these features are found deep below the ground, many of them lie at or near the surface and are publicly accessible at state and local parks, nature preserves, and other sites. Such geologic sites provide countless recreational and learning opportunities for Ohio residents and visitors. While viewing such features may inspire us in a sense of wonder and awe, understanding how they came to be only enhances the experience and motivates us to further explore. Ohio's Scenic Geology. For those familiar with Ohio's scenic geology, few places in the state compare with the beautiful Hocking Hills region of southeastern Ohio. The scenic features of the Hocking Hills are formed in bedrock that was deposited more than 350 million years ago during the Mississippian period, when Ohio lay under a warm inland sea. Rivers flowed into the vast body of water, carrying both fine and coarse-grained sands, which settled to the sea bottom. Over the centuries, the accumulating sand thickened, compressed, and formed the hard sedimentary rock known as Black Hand Sandstone. Subsequent eons of uplift and stream erosion created the picturesque landscape we see today. The Black Hand features both hard zones, which are resistant to weathering above and below, and softer zones, which are more prone to weathering, sandwiched between them. The contrast in these zones results in dramatic overhangs, recesses, and shelter caves common in the region. Such features are most prominent in the vicinity of Old Man's Cave, where visitors can explore shelter caves, narrow gorges, and natural waterfalls. The recess caves at Old Man's Cave and nearby Ash Cave are carved in the soft middle zone of the Black Hand Sandstone. Another popular destination lies off State Route 374 in southern Hawking County. A giant horseshoe-shaped precipice, 150 feet high, known as Cantwell Cliffs. Here, large fallen rocks and narrow passageways beckon explorers of all ages. And just down the road, the beautiful and remote Rock House sets within a massive 150-foot high cliff face. Stone steps lead through the windows of Rock House to a tunnel-like passage 200 feet long and 25 feet high. Other features worth exploring can be found at Cedar Falls and Saltpeter Cave and Conkles Hollow State Nature Preserves. One of Ohio's most fascinating and photogenic sites is found at Rock Bridge State Nature Preserve in nearby Rock Bridge, Ohio. Here, visitors will find Ohio's largest natural arch, Rock Bridge Natural Bridge, which is carved out of the Black Hand Sandstone. As evidenced by the Hocking Hills and other geographic regions, the Black Hand Sandstone creates a rugged topography and is responsible for scenic features in many localized areas of eastern Ohio. This rock gets its name from a large, dark, hand-shaped petroglyph, a type of inscription, that was engraved on the face of the sandstone cliff found at Black Hand Gorge State Nature Preserve. Many Native American legends were passed on to early pioneers about the origin of this Black Hand, the most prominent being that it marked the boundary of a sacred Native American territory where no man was to raise his hand against another. In the vicinity of Yellow Springs, Ohio, we find another area greatly shaped by ice and water 
over the course of millions of years. Here, John Bryan State Park and the adjoining Clifton Gorge State Nature Preserve owe their existence to the power of the Little Miami River. Entering the area at Clifton, Ohio at 980 feet above sea level, the Little Miami drops 130 feet through layer upon layer of bedrock, including dolomite, limestone, and shale. Each layer has a story to tell of the times when the area was covered by warm, shallow seas, or it was a part of a muddy river delta, or was scoured by tons of slow-moving glacial ice. Each layer has its own characteristics as well. Some of the shale layers are easily worn away by the forces of erosion, causing undercutting in the cliff face. The more erosion-resistant dolomite and limestone rocks above are weakened by this undercutting, causing large blocks of rock, called slump blocks, to fall away. The results are unusual rock formations, including steamboat rock. The 268-acre Clifton Gorge State Nature Preserve protects one of the most spectacular dolomite and limestone gorges in the state. At one point, the river funnels through a deep, narrow channel formed in the resistant Cedarville, Springfield, and Euphemia dolomites. Clifton Gorge is the result of erosion by large meltwater rivers, originating from the waning Wisconsinian Continental Glacier nearly 20,000 years ago. These now extinct rivers plunged over the edge of the Silurian bedrock escarpment near Xenia. It rapidly eroded the soft limestone and shales beneath the escarpment, leaving the more massive Silurian dolomites unsupported. Continued undermining and collapse of the dolomite resulted in Clifton Gorge. Because the different layers of rock forming the sides of the gorge vary in their ability to resist erosion, a distinct profile has developed. Resistant Cedarville dolomite forms the upper cliff, which rises 40 to 50 feet. Less resistant dolomites beneath the Cedarville have weathered out to form recesses. In many places, this undercutting has allowed the Cedarville to separate along fracture planes and collapse to form slump blocks. Easily eroded shale forms the lower slope. Clifton Gorge is being slowly widened over time, as shown by the scars of recent rockfalls. Similar to Clifton Gorge, the rock ledges at Nelson Kennedy Ledges State Park are the result of a long-term stream and glacial erosion. These intriguing outcrops are among the few in northern Ohio that aren't entirely covered by glacial sediments. Here, visitors can observe rock known as the Sharon Conglomerate, a sedimentary rock formed during the Pennsylvanian period, some 310 million years ago. The Sharon overlies the marine shales of the Cuyahoga Formation, formed around 350 million years ago, when the area was an ocean floor. Throughout the park, polished and grooved surfaces, evidence of glacial erosion, can be found along the top of the ledges. Elsewhere, visitors will see house-sized blocks of Sharon conglomerate that have slowly crept away from the main cliff, creating a maze of passageways for hikers to explore and a home for a wide variety of trees, wildflowers, and other plants. Other impressive rock formations can be found throughout the state. Ohio is home to numerous caves, including Ohio Caverns in Champaign County, Olentangy Indian Caverns in Delaware County, and Seneca Caverns in Seneca County. Our state is also adorned with nearly 100 natural arches and bridges. Perhaps the most picturesque are Rock Bridge and Rock House, Trimmer Arch in Ross County, Ladd Natural Bridge in Washington County, and Raven Rock Arch in Scioto County. Numerous gorges and valleys are carved throughout Ohio's landscape and give us a sense of the awesome erosive power of rivers, creeks, and streams. Some of the most scenic are found in Hawking Hills, the Paint Creek and Rocky Fork region of Highland and Ross counties, and within Cuyahoga Valley National Park, where the Cuyahoga Valley has been transformed by multiple glaciations and the flow of the Cuyahoga River. The result is a variety of scenic features, such as Brandywine Falls, Bridal Veil Falls, Blue Hen Falls, and Tinker's Creek Gorge.
Glaciers of the last ice age covered about two thirds of Ohio. The repetitive advance and retreat of these glaciers have created both spectacular bedrock exposures as well as less obvious natural features. This glaciation also left behind a legacy of rich fertile soils, vibrant marshes and wetlands, and an abundance of mineral resources. Nowhere is evidence of the Ice Age more apparent and more fascinating than at Kelly's Island in the western basin of Lake Erie. The island was formed when massive ice sheets from Canada advanced into Ohio and gouged and scoured the bedrock. Their tremendous weight left deep depressions that filled with meltwater as the climate warmed and the glaciers retreated, forming the Great Lakes. Evidence of the glaciers still can be seen in the grooves and striations in the island's bedrock. On the north end of the island, visitors will find Glacial Grooves State Memorial, where a large tract of grooves has been exposed by an historic quarrying operation. Around 18,000 years ago, the grooves were carved out of bedrock, known as the Columbus Limestone. At 400 feet long, 15 feet deep, and 35 feet wide, they are believed to be the largest example of glacial striations in the world. While grooves, gorges, and other glacial remnants are easily observed throughout Ohio, some evidence of the Ice Age is less apparent. The Ohio landscape was shaped not only by what the glaciers eroded away, but also by the sediments they deposited. Such deposits create a gently rolling topography with both flat and hilly areas that include small lakes and ponds, small mounds, and large ridges that can extend hundreds of miles. One such feature can be found at Siegenthaler Kessner Esker State Nature Preserve. An esker is a narrow ridge of stratified or layered till that has been sorted and deposited according to grain size by running water. Eskers commonly have steep sides and a sinuous shape. Most eskers were formed in tunnels carved through the lowest level of the glacier by meltwater streams when the glacier finally melted away, the rocks, sand, and gravel dropped in the bed of the stream remained as an esker to mark its course. Eskers typically are discontinuous, and this one is no exception, as it is divided into several distinct ridges. The small knolls north of the eskers are cames, piles of gravel dropped into pits and crevices in the glacier by meltwater streams flowing on top of the ice. The wide flat valley west of the Eskers is an outwashed channel made of gravel melted out of the glacier and deposited in sheets in front of its retreating edge. The small pond to the east is known as a kettle and was formed when a block of ice was left behind and was surrounded by till. When it melted, a depression remained which filled with groundwater. In some cases, you can drive your car over some of Ohio's most famous Eskers Examples include U.S. Route 23, which parallels and crosses the Circleville Esker between South Bloomfield and Circleville, or State Route 203 near Radnor, which follows the Radnor Esker. Eskers, Cames, and Kettles are called ice contact features because they were formed in or against ice. Ice contact features can be found throughout Ohio, and they often are the basis for complex ecosystems. For example, in northwestern Ohio, the Oak Openings Preserve near Toledo offers several distinct habitats, including savannas, woodlands, sand barrens, and prairies, all made possible by the complex glacial geology of the region. These habitats serve as home to a great biodiversity of plants and animals, many of which are not found anywhere else in the state. Other sites where Ohio's glacial geology can be observed and studied include the Portage Lakes region of northeastern Ohio, where numerous bogs and marshes dot the landscape and act as a refuge for exotic plants and animals. Pickerington Ponds State Nature Preserve just east of Columbus, Cedar Bog State Nature Preserve in Champaign County, and Stages Ponds State Nature Preserve in Pickaway County. Dedicated in 1974, Stages Pond is a monument to the great ice fields that once covered most of Ohio. Well, previously thought of as a kettle lake, which has a more passive origin, recent studies suggest it formed as the result of a moulin, a hole or shaft in a glacier scoured out by meltwater. The moulin acted as a conduit for meltwater to carve out a depression 
in the underlying glacial sediment where the pond is now located. Lake Erie, too, has been shaped by glaciers of the Ice Age. Long ago, it existed as a basin or lowland valley of an ancient river system. Each glaciation of the Ice Age further carved out and destroyed this drainage system and deepening and enlarging the basin. Thus, Lake Erie has had several successive stages of existence in its complex geologic history. The oldest rocks from which the Lake Erie Basin was carved formed in a tropical ocean reef environment. The Lake Erie Islands, South Bass, North Bass, Kelly's, and West Sister are made of limestone and dolomite that were resistant to the powerful glaciers. These same rocks make up the western shores stretching from Maumee Bay to Sandusky and provide abundant sources of industrial minerals for roads and buildings, as shown by the legacy of quarrying in and around Marblehead in Ottawa County. Just west of Sandusky, less resistant shales begin to dominate the coastline, stretching all the way to the northeastern corner of the state and beyond. These weaker shales form steep bluffs, especially in the vicinity of Painesville in Lake County, that are highly prone to coastal erosion, posing a great risk to lakefront properties and infrastructure. Lake Erie is an important source of water to shoreline communities and a mecca for recreational activities. The lake provides numerous habitats vital for many species of plants and animals as well, especially in its beaches, dunes, marshes, and estuaries. While extensive development along the shores of Lake Erie has all but eliminated the presence of sandy beaches and dunes, Headlands Dunes State Nature Preserve, located adjacent to Headlands Dunes State Park in Lake County, is one of the last natural beaches in Ohio. With the aid of man-made structures known as jetties and breakwaters, Headlands Beach has changed dramatically since 1825. These structures help trap sand along the shore, creating longer, wider beaches and dunes. The result is a preserve that makes ideal habitat for plants and wildlife found nowhere else in Ohio, as well as a great public beach for recreation. Other vibrant areas along the lake include Cleveland Lakefront State Park, Sheldon Marsh State Nature Preserve, and Old Woman Creek State Nature Preserve, Ohio's only National Estuarine Research Reserve. Old Woman Creek Preserve is one of the few remaining freshwater-type estuaries in the Lake Erie region. An estuary is traditionally defined as a place where the land's freshwaters meet and mix with the salt water of the sea, and where water levels are affected by tides. Lake Erie is actually a freshwater inland sea, and as a transition zone between land and water, the estuary brings together many kinds of life. Attracted by the water supply and abundance of food and shelter, birds, mammals, fish, reptiles, amphibians, and insects are drawn to Old Woman Creek Preserve, which features a variety of aquatic and terrestrial habitats, marshland, open water, a barrier sand beach, upland forests, and old crop fields in early plant succession. Lake Erie is a dynamic, shallow body of water, allowing for violent storms with high waves. But there is no doubt it is one of Ohio's most valuable natural resources, providing for commerce, recreation, and reflection. Ohio has a rich record of fossil plants and animals preserved in rocks spanning some 500 million years of geologic history. Fossils are important because they act as bookmarks in the geologic history written in the rocks of our Earth. They tell us not only about the age and mineral composition of rocks, but also about what the natural environment was like at the time these ancient plants and animals inhabited the world. In Ohio, rocks in the southwestern and northwestern areas of the state are world famous for the abundance, variety, and excellent preservation of the fossils they contain. 
Caesar Creek State Park in Clinton and Wayne counties draws paleontologists and fossil collectors from all over the world. The park area sits on a geologic structure known as the Cincinnati Arch, a convex tilting of bedrock layers. Younger rocks lie both east and west of this crest where some of the oldest rocks in Ohio are exposed. The sedimentary limestones and shales tell of a sea that once covered the state 450 million years ago, during the Ordovician period. The park's excellent marine fossil finds, including brachiopods, bryozoans, gastropods, and trilobites, give testimony to the life of this long-vanished body of water. Collectors are encouraged to be on the lookout for Ohio's official state fossil, the elusive Isotelus. Visitors will also enjoy a stop at nearby Caesar Creek Gorge State Nature Preserve, where they can observe and learn how the gorge was formed by great volumes of glacial meltwater, cutting down through the bedrock to expose Ordovician age limestone and shale rich in fossils. The steep walls rise to 180 feet above the river. More than two miles of Caesar Creek flow through the gorge to the Little Miami State and National Scenic River. 200 miles to the north, at Fossil Park in Sylvania, Ohio, fossil hunters again will find a great opportunity for collecting, this time for Devonian age fossils of marine plants and animals. Visitors can travel back in time some 375 million years ago, during the Devonian period, when Northwest Ohio was a great sea teeming with life. Here the shales of the silica formation contain abundant trilobites and brachiopods. Fossil Park is just one of a handful of parks in the nation that offers such collecting. Other fossil collecting sites are scattered throughout Ohio, such as Oaks Quarry Park in Fairborn and Houston Woods State Park, north of Oxford, near the Ohio-Indiana border. Here, fertile soils left by glaciers of the last ice age help sustain a unique stand of virgin timber within adjacent Houston Woods State Nature Preserve, where over 200 acres have been protected and provide visitors with a glimpse of Ohio's primeval forest. While well, fossil collecting can be fun and exciting for fossil hunters of all ages, visitors to Ohio's collecting sites should always abide by rules and regulations and collect only in designated areas so that these invaluable resources can be preserved for future generations of researchers and collectors. Ohio's fascinating natural features take many forms and teach us much about Earth's geologic heritage. Some of these features are small, some large, and some are difficult to find, and even more difficult to understand. And with further study, some of these features are given new explanations for their existence. For example, the Serpent Mound Impact Site, located in the Adams Highland Pike Tri-County area in southern Ohio, is a rarity in the United States, as it is one of only 28 known comet or meteorite impact craters in the country. However, its origin wasn't always so widely agreed upon by Earth scientists. For decades, the nature of the Serpent Mound Impact Site was disputed, owing to its geologic complexity. The site previously has been interpreted as a so-called sunken mountain and later as the site of an ancient volcanic eruption. However, technological advancements have aided recent geologic studies in determining its origin as an impact site. The impact occurred between 256 and 330 million years ago and is named after a prehistoric Native American effigy mound shaped like a snake that is found in the southwest portion of the impact crater. The force of the impact forever changed the landscape of an area more than five miles in diameter. Another fascinating geologic curiosity can be found in bedrock known as the Ohio Shale, which runs north to south through the middle of the state from Lake Erie to Adams County. Along the outcrop belt of the Ohio Shale, one can find large spheres known as concretions. These orange-colored globes are made of carbonate rock with a core of calcite, or barite, which typically surrounds a fishbone or fragment of fossil wood. They are formed enclosed within the gray and black shales, 
much like a marble pressed within the pages of a book, and range in diameter from a few inches to more than nine feet. The origins of these stones abound. Concretions are found in the banks and hillsides along rivers, creeks, and streams, and in the beds of such waterways after weathering out of the shale and tumbling down slope. For example, concretions are common along the Huron River, Scioto Brush Creek, Deer Creek, and in the bed of the Olentangy River in southern Delaware County at High Banks Metro Park. The Olentangy cuts a scenic swath through the Ohio Shale, exposing concretions throughout and offering visitors a chance to study these intriguing stones. A tour of Ohio scenic geology would not be complete without a stop at Flint Ridge State Memorial in western Licking County. Here, visitors can observe Ohio's official gemstone in its natural state. Flint can be found throughout eastern Ohio and has been an important natural resource since prehistoric times. Flint is a variety of quartz and is a hard, durable stone that can be easily shaped. It was sought after by Native Americans for use as tools, weapons, and other implements. These native peoples came to Flint Ridge to replace their worn out and broken points and artifacts. Later, settlers through Ohio used impure deposits of flint for burstones to grind grain in their water mills and for grindstones to sharpen tools. Other uses included glazing for ceramics and to enamel glassware. Today, Ohio flint is highly prized for its color, hardness, and ability to take a high polish and is sought after by collectors, lapidarists, and artists the world over who use it to make beautiful jewelry. The landscape we see around us may appear timeless, formed in the distant past and unchanging. However, in geologic terms, the natural features we see are ephemeral. The processes that shape them are complex and take thousands, sometimes millions of years. By contrast, our time here is brief and offers only a fleeting glimpse of the world. But like the timelessness of our ever-changing Earth, the fascination and awe we experience observing scenic features and learning of their origins seem to have no end.